what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm gonna show you how to fix rockstar games launcher fail to initialize let's get started guys i have different solutions of this problem so do not skip any part of this video solution number one go to this pc and go to documents and go to your rockstar games launcher right click on the folder and go to rename and type here old press enter and it's done solution number two go to control panel or go to search bar on your windows type here control panel go to control panel and go to uninstall a program and go to turn windows feature on or off click here and go to net framework 2.5 Check this box and click OK. Now click here and make sure you have an internet connection. You need Net Framework 3.5. Now after installation, you need to close it and restart your PC now. Solution number three. Go to your Microsoft Visual C++ 2022. 64 bit and 86. Uninstall it. Click on uninstall and close it. Now right click and uninstall. Now you need latest version of Visual C. As you can see, 64 and 86. Right click and properties. Go to compatibility and check this box. Run this program as administrator. Or check this box, apply and OK. And OK, now open it. Check this box and install. Now close it. Now go to 86, properties, compatibility, and check this box. And apply and OK and OK. Reopen it and install. Now close it. Solution number four. Go to control panel, uninstall program, and scroll down. Search for Microsoft OneDrive. This one, Microsoft OneDrive. Uninstall it. Solution number five. If you have Windows 10 Pro and then you'll need to install Media Feature Pack. Go to this PC, right click here and go to Properties. As you can see, I have Windows 10 Pro, not N. If you have Windows 10 Pro N, then you'll need to install Media Feature Pack. Solution number six, go to search bar on your Windows and type here Services. Press Enter or go to Services and search for Rockstar Game Launcher Services. You can see this is uh, Rockstar Game Library Services. Right click and go to Properties and start it automatically and click on Apply and click on Start. And OK. You can see Rockstar Game Library service is running in the background. Now reopen your Rockstar Launcher. Solution number seven. Go to this PC and go to local disk C. Go to user folder and go to user name. Go to app data. If app data folder does not show, then go to view and check this option. Hidden items. Go to app data and go to local and scroll down. Search for Rockstar Games Launcher folder. Open this folder. So you need to delete this folder. Delete it. Now go to this PC. Go to local disk C. Go to program files. Scroll down and delete Rockstar Games folder. Delete it. If this folder does not delete, then you need to delete or uninstall 
your Rockstar Games folder from your control panel. Go to control panel and go to uninstall a program. Scroll down and search for Rockstar Game Launcher. Right click and uninstall. And make sure your launcher services are already closed. Go to search bar on your Windows and type here Task Manager. Go to Task Manager and scroll down and search for Rockstar Games Launcher Services. Right click and end task and scroll down and search for other services for Rockstar Game Launcher. So all services in the background are already closed. You can see there's no Rockstar Game Launcher is running in the background. Okay, now close it. Now we are ready to uninstall Rockstar Game Launcher from our PC. Right click and uninstall. Check these two boxes from here and click on continue. And go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program files and delete the folder Rockstar Games. Delete it. Go back and go to program files 86 and delete the folder. Rockstar Games, delete it and go back. Now go to Documents and delete Rockstar Games folder from here. Delete it. Close it. Now go to the official website of Rockstar Game Launcher. You need a new launcher to install in your PC. Do not install your old launcher in your PC. So this is my new launcher. Right click and properties. Go to compatibility and uncheck this option. Okay, uncheck it and go to apply, change settings for all users and check this box. Uncheck this option, apply and OK and OK. Now reopen your Rockstar Launcher. Now go to continue, continue, check this box and continue. Now go to reset to default. Click here. For example, I click on browse and I select another folder for my Rockstar Launcher. So you can choose this one 86 and OK. So you can see already selected program files 86. So click on continue. If this method does not work, then you can reset to default. You can see reset to default and click on continue solution number eight if this method does not work then you need to uninstall your launcher again from your pc go to this pc local disk c and program files delete your rockstar game folders from here and 86 delete the folder from here so you need to delete or uninstall all files for Rockstar Games Launcher already installed in your PC. Make sure your Rockstar Games Launcher is already uninstalled from your PC. So there's no Rockstar Games Launcher already installed in my Windows. You can see already uninstalled. Now, reopen your launcher. This time, continue, continue, check this box continue and change your directory for your launcher go to this pc scroll down go to local disk c scroll down and go to program 86 do not select any other folder you need to select this folder okay select it okay and make sure your folder program files 86 selected from here okay do not use reset to default Click on continue. Now over here, uncheck this box and close it. Now close it. Go to your launcher. This is my launcher after installation. Right click and open file location. So you can see this is the launcher patch. Right click and go to properties and go to compatibility. Uncheck this box. Okay, and check this option 
run this program as administrator apply and ok and open so you can see there's no uh, social club folder now open it and wait for some time over here you can see all files from a launcher in different files and folder you can see so we have rockstar games folder so this is only these files you can see and redistributables social club is here and if you're still facing the issue then you can try this one go to open or uh, right click and uh, go to properties and compatibility uncheck this box check this option apply and okay now reopen your setup social club now you can install easily and check this box install and okay if you are facing another error after installation then you'll need to delete all files from here delete everything from here redistributable folder rockstar games folder and third party folder and other files like these ones yeah you need to delete all files and folders from here guys make sure you have to delete these dll files not any other files okay delete do not delete any other folder and files delete it now reopen your rockstar game launcher you need to delete it go to fresh install of launcher and continue continue now reset to default okay this time make sure this folder is empty look at this c so there's no folder but i need to delete it delete it and close it and restart default click here again over here click here and continue now uncheck this box and close it close it this is new launcher shortcut icon open file location and scroll up so you can see uh, open this pc local disk c program files rocks are games okay launcher so these are files in separate folders in one folder you can see launcher okay now go to redistributable and okay scroll down and run the launch patcher or you can try this one okay if this does not work then you can try this one and it's done you can see launcher is working so you can try from here open you can install social club setup manually from here and it's done so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you and please subscribe to the channel like the video thanks for watching